In this video, I will show you how you can make a simple cash GUI and cash giver to show the GUI working. It will change when the amount of cash the player has changes. Starting with the making the cash GUI, create a screen GUI under the starter GUI. Next, create a frame under the screen GUI. Fix the frame's position by changing it position and anchor point. To make the frame go to the bottom left corner, I change its Y scale position and its Y scale anchor position to 1. Next, change the size of the frame. I used a scaled size of 0.2 and 0.1 for X and Y respectively to give it some responsiveness. Now add a UI corner in the frame. Fix its value to something which suits you. For this frame, I used a scaled value of 0.15. Add a UI stroke into the frame and change its color and thickness to something which suits you. Also change its apply stroke mode to border to make sure it covers the frame's border. Now add a text label in the frame. Fix the text style by setting text scaled to true and making the font bold. Also change the font into Fred Oka one and set the text color to white. Copy and paste the UI stroke into the text label. Change its apply stroke mode to contextual to cover the text. Fix the position of the text label by changing its position to 1x scaled and anchor position to 1x scaled. Make the background transparency to 1x so the text label does not block the UI stroke. Fix the text label size to 0.8 and 1 scaled x and y respectively. Change the text to what you want it to be before the cache loads. Add an image label to the frame. Fix its size to 0.2 and 1x and y scaled respectively. Set its background transparency to 1. Paste in an image for the cache using an image from the toolbox. You can do this by copying the image's ID and pasting it into the image property of the image label. To fix the image label stretching, add a UI aspect ratio constraint into the image label, which make it into a square. To ensure that the frame looks the same before different screen ratios, Add a UI aspect ratio constraint and change its value to something which you are happy with. I use 5. I wasn't happy with the frame's position because the screen blocked the UI stroke. So I move it a bit up and to the right by increasing and decreasing the X and Y scaled positions respectively. I also removed the text for the cache text label because I didn't think it looked nice. After creating the cache GUI, create a script inside the server script service. Copy and paste the script code in the description into the script. This will create a simple cache number value and give some cache to the player every second. Note that it will not save. Next, create a local script inside the cache text label. Copy and paste the local script code in the description into the local script. After doing these steps, you would have made your own cache GUI. I hope this video helps. Please like, subscribe and comment for future suggestions and feedback.